What's up guys? Happy Throwback Thursday. Today we are on Age of Mythology, which is a frankly underrated game of the Age of Empires series. It's not my favourite, obviously Age of Empires 2 is my favourite, um, but it's a, definitely a very good one and is a little bit different, which is nice. Um, a lot of people probably remember quite fondly, which is why it's part of Throwback Thursday. Um, Throwback Thursday is going to be a new series that I release every Thursday in which I will play a game that is maybe a little bit older uh, but I I for one and hopefully you guys as well have fond childhood memories of. Um, probably won't be the only videos I do of uh, the, uh, the older games but it will certainly be older games every Thursday. So Today we're going to be doing a random match. Uh, it says custom, but it's actually a 1v1. It's going to be a death match revealed. Nothing, nothing too difficult. The difficulty arises with uh, Titan difficulty, but I'm going to show you guys how on team migration it's actually quite amusing and not actually as hard. So I like this game particularly because it adds the the little challenge of god powers and myth units, which I always enjoyed. Uh, like myth units, growing, uh, myths and things growing up. Uh, so start off because it's um, because it's deathmatch. We obviously want to advance as quickly as possible. Uh, we also want to hit our population limit as quickly as possible. So one thing that's a little bit different about this. Uh, this game is that. You just have a limited population, which is uh, an interesting one. Um, we obviously want to keep the, the villagers coming as quickly as possible. So population, for those who can't remember, is done through houses and town centres. So we want to build as many houses and town centres as possible. Um, the map I've chosen today is Team Migration. Um, which, as you can see, is a very, uh, very war coastal map, naval, coastal, water, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we're going to try and rule the waves, hence the enormous amount of docks that I've built. Let's build ten of those. Come on, advance. So as you can see, we're trying to advance as quickly as possible. So with this, this one's a bit of a challenge because Leviathan's quite useful. It's obviously a naval unit. But I like rock because I love a good bit of air superiority. Um, we will avoid another one of those just to avoid our um, faith hitting maximum. Okay, let's build ten of those. How are we getting on? Where's our villager? There she is. I don't know, they should be building in the marketplace because the most important thing is advancing as quickly as possible and getting to that final age. Let's build 10 of those as well. Determined to rule the waves, really. Build another two villages. Actually, we only need one. Right, so this is the interesting bit. So. I love Son of Osiris. I think Son of Osiris is a really, really good one. But the phoenix in this, in a naval... So, yeah, ruling the, ruling the waves is all well and good. But I think air superiority, which is something Age of Empires 2 doesn't have, is really the absolute most important part of this game. Into you. So my transport's obviously getting a little bit attacked at the moment. That's fine, right. So now we're just going to pump out phoenixes as quickly as possible. Phenai. Um, we also do want to build a few defences. So we're going to want to build a Migdahol, Migdahol, Stronghold, Castle, Fortress, whatever you want to call it. By right there. Build another. Into you. Right, let's go rule the waves, shall we? We're also going to want to get a bit of line of sight going as well, so we'll do that there. I think 
pretty good job so far. Let's get around here quickly. Ooh, I don't think we're going to be able to build that. So our houses are pretty much up, which is nice. It's over there, Loki. That's an interesting one. Right. That Odin, not Loki. Fair enough. So then, that's our population limit, then, is it? It's interesting. Right. So, as we said, population is the key to this. Whenever I play an AI, I find population is very much the key to it. Um, so I'm quite keen to keep their population as low as possible. Which the best way of doing that is to take out their town centers. That's when we're doing that. Right, we want to get the town centers really. Okay, so as you can see at the moment, we're not quite though destroying the buildings quickly enough. I'm going to want to bring these guys around to try and build or destroy them a little quicker. And so our Phoenix plan also failed quite, quite badly. Not a whole lot of point in destroying their markets. I never really got trade in this game, it's not quite on the same level. Right, I need to keep. Use as destroyed as possible. Stop them getting superiority on the coast. Right, so we can definitely destroy that one, which will be very, very, very useful. Right, you guys, gold is always my downfall. So we're going to get as many people on gold as possible. Into you. Keep strong hell forts, run them out of resources quite nicely, hopefully. We can stay back from the coast. Right, let's see if we can destroy that town centre, destroy that town centre. You guys can come around and defend me a little bit. And let's get on the old rock. Maybe not actually. Right, we need to back it up. Destroy that. Where have they gone? You guys can get on that. Into you. Into you. So you guys can chill by there. Into you. So we're going to want to ring this bell. Keep them coming. So, where's our rock gone? So we're definitely, definitely going to want... So as I said, it's all about villagers at this stage. So we're going to want to grab some of our villagers and put them inside. This will help. Oh, we need. It, destroying all of this will, would help a lot. That's to be said. Into you. Oh, hells yeah, we can destroy the crap out of that. Okay. So that's very useful. If we can destroy all of that as well, it'd be even more useful. Back it up. Take them from the sea. There we go. 
So as we said, all of, it's all about population. So we're going to expand our population at this point. I would say we've built the maximum number of houses we can. We haven't quite, actually. Um, but it's all about population, because as you can see, I've got plenty of resources. I can build more units and things, but what I'm really missing at this stage is... Um, it's population. So, it's more about town centers now, which can only be built on these settlement patches. Um, but that's why we want. Into you. Um, oh, not air. Well, we do want air superiority, but particularly land, uh, naval superiority. Because it means that we can choose where to drop our people off. We can defend gold deposits like that. And really do as well as possible. As you can see, the AI is rather poor at fighting you off, which is why it's not much of a challenge, even on the Titan difficulty. Don't get me wrong, on non naval maps, they are. Basically impossible to beat. Oh look, they've even got all their houses on the coast, which is not the smartest thing in the world, because guess what we're gonna do to those? Um I'm gonna have a look see. Build a settlement. So they built that settlement, they rebuilt that settlement. But I'm claiming a few settlements for myself now, which would be very useful as well. Into you. Let's destroy that one again. Oh, it'd be so useful to have all of those. That's fine, we're destroying those there. Into you. I don't know what relic they've got. Ah, what is it? Oh, that's fine, we only even have that. Oh dear, they've got a bit of land to that going against me. It's fine, we're destroying those nicely. If we need a quick boost of gold, we can. Um, we have our uh, got prosperity still. Don't need to use those. That, not a lot of point. There we go. <laughs> Let's get rid of all of these because at the moment they're just filling up our population a little bit. So that should help, I'm hoping. I forget how much population boats add. Okay, let's grab all of these. They're doing absolutely nothing around here at the moment. And let's get them around to a decent place. Right, these things. Right, we need to try and destroy this one, so hopefully we can get some benefit out of that. So, as you can see, I'm just going around collecting town centers at the moment. Normal player would obviously attack this town centre because it's fairly unprotected. And they definitely work a hell of a lot harder at stopping me ruling the waves so easily. But, um... Oh, they haven't even built it. Makes life easy. Right, where's my rock? Right. So we're going to keep hammering away at them. You guys are now done, so we're going to delete you because we've got loads of food. But we are going to stick 10 on there. We now have an army of these guys, which I love, just straight air superiority. Because as you can see, they destroy land units not very effectively but well enough to be a bit of a pain. So 
it means this for that really as well. What's the range? 22, 26. Problem solved. Let's get rid of him. So, and as you can see, so the town centers can destroy them, but very, very slowly. And no one at their units often can't. Particularly if you can destroy the hill forts at the same time. Um, and keep shelling them from the coast. Usually pretty sorted. So dealt with there. There being a those lines being a bit of a pain, it has to be said. So they're now destroyed. So we'll destroy that as well. Very slowly. Not so we can actually do pestilence on them. Help kill them. Always nice. Let's destroy all of the buildings. Best we can. So they're not so good at destroying units, but they are very good at destroying units. Building, yeah, uh, but they're not very good at units, but they are quite good at destroying buildings. So keep plugging away, keep destroying everything they've got. Can't let them get another foothold, really. I will have a go at a standard, really hard game as well. That's not quite so easy as this one. It's not naval based. Just to show you guys the massive difference. This AI just cannot deal with water. Just can't. Um, the AI in Age of Empires 2 obviously is a lot better at water. But this one just cannot deal with water whatsoever. So we kind of need these phen phen phoenixes, phenai, to help me over here. As you can see, I would eventually run out of gold. Fortunately, they went out of gold for me. So let's deal with these guys. The woes of, of course, the Norse is that any of their units can build buildings. So only my villages can build buildings, but their units can all build buildings, which is uh, a bit of a pain, because it means I've got to destroy all of their units before I can get anything out of them. That's all the town centre's gone now. Excellent, they should resign about now, I'm suspecting. Go on, kill her. There you go. So they're off that island now, and now just over here, which is just a few units here and there, which I will destroy in plenty of time. Keep expanding my population limit, of course. I mean, worst case scenario, I can just get all these villagers to build a Titan gate and unleash a Titan, but they've resigned. So pretty much as easy as that. So hardest difficulty, beat it. Um, it's very easy. Rule, uh, they will land on your base if you're not quick, so uh, do need to beat them there. But having air and sea air superiority is so so important. Um, on a land map, air superiority again is useful, has its places, but um, they usually have time to to beat you. But it, wall up, usually okay. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Age of Mythology AI sucks with water. As you saw, they just sort of milled around the coast, let me kill them all. Um, they should really have gone back here, built a load of docks, built a massive navy, and forced, well, flipped the tables. But there we go. Um, let's have a quick look at the post game. As you can see, they were pretty much just destroyed throughout. So, yeah, they collected more, but I love a good myth unit. Um, yeah. So as you can see, I killed a lot more units and didn't really lose anywhere near as many uh, because of the air superiority um, and just do everything from range, which is nice. Um, and it's all about settlements as well. Um, but yeah, that is Age of Mythology on a throwback Thursday. Um, future throwbacks, 
I have a whole load lined up that I'm really, really excited to go back and play just because it's been so long since I played them. Uh, I will show you guys what a Titan AI looks like on a land map and how insanely good that is. So uh, yeah, if you want to see those videos or if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye guys.